Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10, the cold bone dinosaur. Scientists discovered the remains of a mysterious dinosaur underneath the ice of Greenland. The dinosaur is now the first of its kind known to have lived in Greenland some 214 million years ago during the Triassic period. This beast walked on two legs, ate plants, and it was of a medium size in comparison to other dinosaurs. It had both a long neck and teeth like serrated needles. And although it was pretty basic and not too out of the ordinary in the world of dinosaurs, it would evolve into something very special. This dinosaur, named Coldbone in the Inuit language, was an early ancestor of some of the largest dinosaurs that would ever exist, the sauropods. The discovery of the dinosaur's bones go back to 1994. Harvard University paleontologists uncovered two skulls in the Jameson Land Basin in eastern Greenland. At first, they thought the skulls belonged to a type of Platosaurus, a dinosaur found in Germany and France. But that didn't turn out to be true. With newer technology, researchers were recently able to see that this is its very own species, something completely new. Additionally, the researchers found one skull from a juvenile and one from an adult, which meant they were able to see how the animal grew. Right now, this is the only distinct Greenlandic dinosaur species. Sauropods, just like it, would end up living for nearly 150 million years before going extinct. Much later down the evolutionary line, the Titanosaurus appeared, the largest sauropod to ever exist, standing over 40 feet long. Number 9. Lost Viking Highway In Norway, archaeologist Lars Holger and his colleagues discovered a shirt 1,800 years old in a melting patch of ice. It happened on Lomsegen, a mountain in the south of the country. After the discovery, Lars and his team started wondering what else was hiding underneath centuries of cumulative ice. As it turned out, a whole lot. They started excavating the area and found traces of daily life going all the way back 2,000 years. Sleds, tools, horseshoes, and other everyday objects used by the Vikings that had been tossed aside and buried in snow. The objects date approximately from the year 300 to 1500, meaning this travel corridor through the mountain had been used until 500 years ago. It was likely walked by settlers and farmers moving from one permanent winter settlement to another during the summer. As they moved through the mountain pass in large convoys, they left behind odds and ends that they didn't need anymore. Then, as snow collected over the years, these objects were perfectly preserved in the freezing cold. What's really interesting is that the artifacts have shown human activity on the pass started when climate conditions changed, allowing for easy travel across Norway. This led to a population boom, which helped the Vikings around the year 1000 with their raids across Europe. But then things changed again in the 1300s. The climate changed, the pass became frozen and impassable once more, and the Black Death wiped out many local villages. Then, for roughly 500 years, the pass was not used again. Number 8. The Franklin Expedition Mummies In the Canadian Arctic, a Victorian seaman from a fabled lost expedition was found mummified in the ice. You've probably heard of the ill-fated Franklin Expedition. Two ships set out from England with hopes of finding the Northwest Passage, the mysterious link from Europe to Asia. Instead, they got stuck in the ice, and all 134 men died. They were last spotted in Baffin Bay, July of 1845. The ships were lodged in the ice near King William Island, and after wintering there for three years, the men abandoned the ship in 1848. They were desperate to find civilization, and so they set off across the ice. They never made it to safety, and slowly died from exposure and hunger, though not before resorting to cannibalism. In 1981, researchers with the University of Alberta began searching for the bones of the sailors. They found a small cemetery near where the ships had originally gotten stuck, with many of the human remains showing evidence they had resorted to eating their own dead. Then came the discovery of John Torrington. He died on January 1, 1846. This made him the first person to die from the expedition. He was buried in a coffin about three feet deep under frozen gravel. When the researchers finally managed to remove the lid of the coffin, they found John encased in a block of ice. They used warm water to thaw his remains, shocked to see he was in nearly the exact same condition as when he had died. The ice had kept him amazingly preserved, looking as though he had only been dead a few weeks. 
When they performed an autopsy, they found that John had suffered from tuberculosis and died from pneumonia. Number 7. Cave Bear The remains of a cave bear from the Ice Age were discovered in the Russian permafrost almost perfectly preserved. Because the body has been frozen in ice for tens of thousands of years, it barely decayed at all. While the effects of being frozen have left some minimal damage, the cave bear is otherwise totally intact. It's actually the very first cave bear scientists have ever found that still has soft tissue intact for them to study. The amazing discovery wasn't made by scientists, but rather a group of reindeer herders in Russia's far north that came across the preserved beast in the ice. Scientist Lina Grigorieva called it the first and only discovery of its kind. Cave bears have only been known by scientists up until now thanks to a few random bones discovered in Arctic regions. This is the only time a totally preserved specimen, still with its internal organs and even its nose, has been brought into a lab. Here's what we know about this mysterious bear so far. It is a prehistoric species that lived throughout Eurasia up until 15,000 years ago. This specific bear died sometime between 22,000 and 40,000 years before today about 5,000 miles from modern-day Moscow. Scientists are still working to preserve its DNA. Maybe in the future, when scientists finally figure out how to bring back the woolly mammoth, the cave bear will be next. Number 6. Ancient Tools In the year 2000, archaeologist Tom Andrews began putting together satellite imagery of the Mackenzie Mountains. This is a massive mountain range in the Canadian north that marks the border between the Yukon and the Northwest Territories. Tom knew that there was something here, something probably buried under the ice. In 2005, he managed to raise enough money to take himself and a group of investigators by helicopter to investigate a pair of ice patches. There, they discovered some extraordinary things. A squirrel snare from 1,000 years ago used for catching tiny animals, bows and arrows from 850 years ago, and spear-throwing tools nearly 2,400 years old. Tom described the tools as truly amazing. They were used by ancient hunters living in the frozen wasteland for hunting caribou and small game. These were Native American hunters whose ancestors arrived in North America over 10,000 years ago. They lived throughout the Canadian North in regions people no longer live in today. But what's truly amazing is that the researchers only found a handful of items. There are undoubtedly thousands upon thousands more hidden underneath the Canadian ice. There may even be entire settlements here that have remained hidden and undiscovered because they are too far in the middle of nowhere and still under countless feet of ice. Number 5. Frozen Russian Ghost Town There is a place in Russia that has been abandoned under layers of snow and ice for the past decade. It's an isolated suburb belonging to the coal mining town of Orkuta, 11 miles away. Temperatures in the region can drop to an unimaginable minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit. When winter comes, snow buries every building in the city, and ice creeps through the forgotten hallways. In 2013, a lack of jobs caused the few remaining families here to uproot their lives and move away. Without people to maintain the buildings, the whole place has become a post-apocalyptic funland. Snow blows in through broken windows and fills the stairwells of apartment buildings. Everything is covered in ice, and the whole place looks like a set from an apocalyptic movie. Of course, the town does thaw during the summer, but the ice is doing quite a bit of damage to the infrastructure and it's all slowly breaking down. In a few years, the entire suburb will be a ruin of icy blocks of stone. Do you find abandoned towns like Varkuta beautiful or eerie? Let me know in the comments below! Number 4. Antarctic Shells Researchers recently discovered some seashells in the frozen wasteland of Antarctica. When they analyzed the calcium isotopes of fossilized snail shells, as well as some fossilized clams, they found them to be millions of years old, around 66 million years to be exact, just before the dinosaurs went extinct. But the frozen shells revealed something shocking. The research team from Northwestern University found that it may not have been solely an asteroid which killed off all the dinosaurs, but also a spike in global CO2 levels. Yes, the asteroid was definitely the final nail in the coffin. However, the dinosaurs had been on their way to extinction anyway. At least that's what this group of scientists is saying. When they analyzed the ancient shells, they found evidence of a huge carbon dioxide influx. This had undoubtedly caused the ocean to become more acidic, 
while the climate became wildly unstable. We don't know for sure what would have happened to the dinosaurs if the asteroid never hit, but according to the data from the shells, it probably wouldn't have been very good. Number 3. The Juliet Delta 321 Cargo Plane On December 4, 1971, a Lockheed LC-130 used by the U.S. Antarctic program took off on a mission. The cargo aircraft's call sign was Juliet Delta 321, and she was to ferry supplies to bases across Antarctica. But after the aircraft resupplied an isolated scientific team in the east, it experienced a malfunction. The plane crashed into the ice, the landing gear collapsed and was ruined, and the vehicle was utterly destroyed. Thankfully, nobody died. The few crew members were rescued shortly after, but the aircraft was unsalvageable. There was nothing anyone could do except strip it of its most valuable components and leave it to slowly be buried under the snow. This wasn't the only plane that crashed and was abandoned in Antarctica. It happened to two other LC-130 planes in the 70s, though these ones ended up being salvaged. It wasn't until 1986, 15 years later, that a team of experts went to the crash site of the Juliet Delta and spent five days digging her out. She had already been buried under 20 feet of compacted snow and ice. It took a lot of work, but the Juliet Delta was eventually pulled from her icy grave, repaired, and actually put back in the air. Somewhat ironically, another LC-130 was lost during the salvage operation. Do you think it was worthwhile to send a team to recover the Juliet Delta? Let me know in the comments below. Number 2. Ice Age Kittens In the remote Yakutia region of Russia, a pair of Ice Age kittens were dug out of the permafrost. These kittens died about 30,000 years ago and were a lot more vicious than any kittens you've probably had experience with. These were the babies of a cave lion, a beast that could rival any large cat still in existence. Cave lions were fierce and wonderful apex predators that lived during the days of the mammoth and the saber-toothed cats. The lion cubs were revealed to the world in 2015. Ever since, scientists have been trying to learn more about them. What we know so far is that Uyan and Dina, as they've been named, died before they were even able to open their eyes and before their baby teeth had started to grow. Japanese scientists recently performed a tomography scan to look at the interior of their stomachs. They should have found at least milk, but instead there was nothing. Their stomachs were empty. This means the cave kittens died before they even had a chance to taste their mother's milk. It's now believed they only survived for one or two days. Sadly, this case gets more and more tragic. Based on where they were found, as well as soil discovered in their digestive tracts, it's believed they died when their den suddenly collapsed. The mother had probably given birth, went to get some food, and their cave dwelling fell in on itself. The poor cubs were killed immediately, then preserved under the frozen earth until just a few years ago. Number 1. A Lost World A series of gigantic structures have been discovered buried underneath the Antarctic ice cap. The mysterious structures are frozen under roughly half a mile of incredibly thick ice. These are some pretty big structures too, with some of them being as tall as the Eiffel Tower. Now here's where the discovery gets a little crazy. Mainstream scientists are fairly certain that what they discovered are simple geological formations. A team of scientists from Belgium says these structures are ridges of sediment beneath the Antarctic ice sheet, part of a large network of tunnels and small mountains. In other words, completely natural. The giant land masses actually help keep the ice stable above. On the other hand, conspiracy theorists are convinced this is about an alien city. There are some who say, although there is no evidence to prove it, these structures are man-made or alien-made. These people believe someone or something built a great city on Antarctica before there was any ice. But for some unknown reason, the people or aliens vanished. When the Ice Age came, their city was buried and all traces of their culture erased. These conspiracy theorists claim that if we dig half a mile down, we will find real archaeological evidence of a lost civilization. Do you really think there's a lost world hidden underneath Antarctica? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And thanks for watching! Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon! Bye!